For more than 20 years, CTV has captured the moments that matter in our community. From our studios in St. Clair, you're watching Focus with Paul Dingeman. Welcome to another edition of the uh, Focus program. I'm glad to be here, glad you are, and joining us, the past president of the St. Clair Women's League, Carrie Seifert. Nice to see you. Nice to see you as well, You're looking Paul. good. Ditto, You've got my an friend. event coming up yes. for the St. Clair Women's League. What's it all about? Yes. So here is what a ticket looks like for our Somewhere in Time themed benefit dinner at River Crab Restaurant in St. Clair on November 7th. Somewhere in Time, that was a Hollywood movie, wasn't it? It was, and I'm ashamed to say that <laughs> I still have not seen it, but it's on my to-do list before the dinner. But I you think better. it had Jane Seymour and Christopher Reeves. Yeah, and then weren't they up at the Mackinac, uh, at mm -hmm. the Grand Hotel? Yes, and that's why it's a perfect theme for Michigan. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's a beautiful invitation. Thank you. So, uh, we have some very creative members. Yes, and it's music, raffles, buffet, and a cash bar uh, somewhere in time. And the river crab never, never fails you, never fails. Never disappoints with their hospitality and letting us do our event there, as well as delicious food. We have a great menu planned. Uh, so you fill the place. Oh yeah, then, well that's what we're trying to do every year and so far that's what we do every year. We have about 200 attendees usually wow. at this dinner, give or take. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously it fluctuates a little, but it's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty packed place. You don't see many empty chairs, that's no. for sure. Okay, so like all organizations, once you make the money, you spend it. Yes. And what do you spend it on? So the St. Clair Women's League really gives to so many different wonderful causes in need in the community. We give between twenty and thirty thousand dollars really? every year into the community. Yes. Wow. Between the profit from our spring flower fundraiser right. and the profit from this dinner, right. or sometimes we do the lottery ticket fundraiser, yep. those two add up to enabling us to do that much. And we give scholarships. To St. Clair High yep. School graduates. Been doing that for a long time. We have, but this year we upped it from five one thousand dollars scholarships to five two thousand dollars. Wonderful scholarships. Wonderful. I mean, college ain't cheap. Yeah, no. <laughs> so at least maybe you know that could buy books for yeah. a semester. Yeah. Or two. Um, but then we also provide thousands every year to the Ecumenical Food Pantry. We adopt needy families for Christmas, meaning we buy and wrap presents for all of the children. Um, we gave a very nice little chunk to the theater in town as well as to Kletcha Park. Yep. Um, we help with Teens in Need, which examines the needs, especially hygienic, of homeless teenagers or teenagers that are couch surfing. It's a program through East China School District. So many, many, many important things. People don't realize that there are kids that are couch sitting. I know. And that is a, just something that's propped up in the last four or five years. Yeah. And that's wonderful that you guys are supporting them. How many members would you have, round figures? I think right now we're at about 45, okay. give or take. I think we've peaked at a little over 50. Yep. Some of our members are getting a little older. Right. They've been doing this wonderful work for decades. We've been serving the community One for One of the names is Audrey years. Mayaki's name pops yes. to this. Audrey Mayaki, Joelle and yeah. um, you know, many, many other wonderful women. Right. And we always welcome new members. And how, do I, how do I become a member? You can find us on Facebook, reach out that way. Um, Joellen, uh, who has been an off and on board member and leader in the group for many years, owns the HERS shop in the St. Clair Plaza. You right. can stop in there and talk to her about right. it. Um, f uh, Facebook is really an easy way. Um, as well to just reach out. Yep. Normally, if someone's just interested in becoming a member, we'll invite them to a meeting so yep. they can see yeah. what it's like. Yeah. We always have hors d'oeuvres and um, sometimes wine. <laughs> um, and so they can Those come. Those are better meetings. <laughs> right. <laughs> they can come and see what we're all about and decide if they want to join. Okay. Uh, so the dinner has been an annual thing. They've had them for probably 10 years or more plus. <sighs> more, longer than I've been in the league, so I'm not sure how long. Okay. Uh, but it is November the 7th. Yes. Now, how do I get a ticket? Is this one of the tickets? No, that's a um, So, actually, I also brought to talk quickly about these different raffles. So, to tell you a little bit about what goes on on this fun evening, 
There's a 50-50. There oh. will be silent auction items of some amazing sports tickets. Um, oh, yes. Red Wings versus Blackhawks, I believe, in January. And um, in April, a Tigers and Padres game. And that includes a meet and greet with Jake Cronenworth and a signed baseball. This was generously donated to us on behalf of Ann Cronenworth, who was a St. Clair Women's League member many right. years ago. Um, Mr. Cronenworth's father donated these prizes to us. We will also have beautifully handcrafted booze towers, which we will stock. One of our creative members um, really embellishes some wine racks that we find, makes beautiful, beautiful piece for your home, and it comes stocked with booze. Um, and these- How, What did you call it, a booze what? A booze tower. Booze tower, We used okay. to have booze baskets, but now we have a member who makes these beautiful little wine racks. Yeah. Um, and we're selling raffle tickets of all kinds. We have a $2,000 Mackinac Island gift card. Wow. Also donated by the Cronenworths um, that you can buy tickets for either in advance at the HERS shop or at the event. And then we have our Fab Five raffle that includes things like a $300 gift card from Coglins to a fish fry on the river for 20, um, as well as some other great prizes. Brought along a couple of posters. We're gonna, we're gonna tease you about one of them, but if the guys will <laughs> throw up the posters uh, of the Red Wing stuff, let's see. So we got a, this is a silent auction that'll be going on um, at the function, but we, can we also bid on this? Yes, if anyone wants to bid early, bidding is open, and we do already have minimum bids on there. Okay. Around, I think around 250 is the first okay. bid. But um, yes, you can. So this is the Chicago Blackhawks yes. against the Red Wings at Little Caesars on January the 10th of 2025. Yes. And then. There's also uh, parking. Oh, it's also a parking pass. Yeah, there's a parking pass as well. Oh, wow. Um, I have the tickets. They were generously donated by one of my boss's friends. I have the tickets in my Ticketmaster. Transfer them to the winner right away. Right. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's a wonderful. And then we also have the baseball one. Now, let's go to the baseball one. Now, we're not going to say who built the poster, but your face is getting red, and <laughs> the date is incorrect. It is and incorrect. And we all check and, and check and check stuff when <sighs> this one got through on you. Yes. April 21st, 2025. Is yes. The, okay. That is appropriate. Now because let's talk 2024, about 2024, April, is over. <laughs> so, yeah, unbelievable. All right, so, but this is really a good package because it's local. Yes. Four tickets and a photo session with Jake Cronenworth. Yes. And a signed baseball probably by Jake and the team. Yes. You know. Yeah. So that's pretty unique. Because he's from St. Clair. Right. So he was a little league Even star though he's on the Padres, <laughs> not the Tigers. <laughs> so you get the best of both worlds there. Right. Right. That's spectacular. Now, if the guys will throw up the, the bid number, yes. uh, we'll talk about that. This is the number for you to call where you can bid on both the hockey and the baseball. Correct. From now until November the 7th, probably November the 6th, probably. Probably the 6th, I would think, just because we're gonna be shuffling everything over to the River Crab on the 7th, right. where bidding will continue right. at our event. So it's 810-329-3511. That is the HERS Boutique. Yes. And you can call that number and get your chance on either uh, signed off, four tickets and a signed autograph with uh, Jake, photo session with Jake, <laughs> yes, or or the hockey. It's it's yep. you guys have really gone out this time. This real this is really fun. We want to make an exciting event. You know, um, life is a little stressful. We've all been dealing with inflation for a while. Let's have a wonderful night. We're all night. tired of television <laughs> of, uh, politics. Pol politics commercials. <laughs> Let's have a wonderful night that's just about fun and about giving right back to our community. Okay. You know. So it's St. Clair Women's Lake and the Somewhere in Time is the title of the program. Yes, and if you would love dinner tickets, you can either go to the HERS shop again in the plaza, it's on the Riverside, or find us on Facebook. And we will do a couple of posts and share them on the city page, but go out there and find us on fa Facebook. It's just St. Clair Women's League and we can get you tickets. And they can get more information from uh, that telephone number of 329-3511. Yes. They'll give them information about the sure. getting tickets too. So. Yes. Yes. Carrie, you did a, you did a fine job. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Not a problem. Uh, <laughs> it's a it's a good event. You should uh, think seriously about attending. So absolutely. That's about it for this uh, edition of the Focus Program. Thanks very much for uh, tuning in.
Till next time, I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Thanks for watching Focus with Paul Dingaman. Focus is produced at the CTV Community Television Studios in St. Clair. For over 20 years, CTV has captured the moments that matter to our community.